Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Thank you for joining me on the channel and thank you for joining me for yet another conference. Um, today's topic is, is the problem that you're talking too much or that maybe they need to get out of your mouth? Is the problem that maybe you're talking too much or maybe they just need to get out of your mouth. Okay? So let's talk about it. We live in a world where people do not want people to form their own opinions. They do not want people to think for themselves independently, free thinkers. We live in a world that is full of control. Think like I think, do what I do, say what I say, believe how I believe. But not everybody was sent to this planet to be a carbon copy of somebody else. As a matter of fact, I don't believe anybody was sent to this planet to be a carbon copy of somebody else. People choose to be like other people. People choose to want to be in in crowds, what they call in crowds. I call it nothing. It's, to me, it's just a group of people packed up together that are like-minded, that enjoy indulging themselves in the same activities. I believe it's very important to live your lives as free thinkers. God Almighty gave you your mind. He gave you your brain to think for yourselves. Father God is not about restriction as it pertains to trying to make your decisions for you or force you to make certain decisions. He places before you or allows you to see the path of good and evil and he gives you the free will to choose to do good or choose to do evil. He doesn't force you to do anything. He doesn't force his hand. He just tells you what it is like it is and it's up to you to accept his truths over Satan's lies. And it is what it is. It's straight like that. But we live in a world where people don't want people to think for themselves. So basically... They are trying to play God in your life because even God Almighty gives you the free will to think how you want to think, say what you want to say, and be who you want to be. But humanity wants to control what you say, control how you think, control who you want to be. And they tell you, you need to be this, not that. And you need to do this and not that. You need to say this and not that. When nobody is the supreme authority but God Almighty. It is God Almighty that lays the rules. And it is, it is us that are supposed to follow his rules and nobody else. Because ain't nobody God but God. Don't get it twisted. And we live in a world where people definitely don't want to hear the voices of women. They definitely don't want to hear the voice of a woman. Because we live in a very male chauvinistic world. But see what Males like that fail to realize is that there are women on this planet that can think for themselves and that don't give two cents about a man's opinion of them and that don't care if a man or anybody for that matter wants them to shut up when God Almighty has given them the authority to speak because let me tell you what people really and truly fear out there my brothers and my sisters they fear what you know they fear your knowledge. They fear the fact that you just might actually be connected to God Almighty. That's what they fear because they know that we serve an omniscient God, omnipotent God, and an omnipresent God. That's what they fear. They fear what you know. That's why they want you to shut up. Well, <laughs> I got, you know what, hey, I got to put it down like I feel it. I'm not going to shut up for nobody. I'm going to say what I want to say, the way I want to say it, how I want to say it. And as it pertains to the platform or the platforms that I am permitted to say it on, I come from the school of thought. If you don't like what somebody is talking about, then why don't you stop listening? Okay? It's as simple as that. If you don't like the words that are coming out of my mouth, then why don't you stop listening? Okay? And that resolves 
that solves that problem that you have with me or any other individual on this planet that know how to think for themselves and do for themselves and can comprehend matters with the intellect that God Almighty gave them. Not how humanity says they should feel and think. Because when you allow other people to think for you, they have just taken a mind control over you. So who are you? You're just a puppet in somebody else's hands. That is too much of a punk and a coward to stand up for yourself. There's nothing like opposition to form a soldier. There is nothing like opposition to form a soldier that won't back down, won't quit, don't care what you think of them, don't care what you say about them. And if you come at them, they're coming at you back. If you tell a lie, they're coming with the truth. If you put them down, they're going to stay on that pedestal. It is what it is. It is what it is. No weapon form shall prosper. So let it be rich and so, so let it be done. You understand what I'm saying? In the house today, Jesus Christ is the supreme authority. People need not get it twisted. It is what it is. Children of God, we don't roll like the world rolls. Because we are not in bondage. We are not in bitter bondage with a slave mentality. We don't have to walk with the mindset of inferiority. Feeling like we are beneath somebody. No, we are beneath nobody. And ain't nobody better than us. And don't nobody look better than us. It's about us. It ain't about the naysayers. It's not about your enemies. It's not even about your frenemies. You know, the ones that grin in your face and they really don't like you and, you know, uh, they're always somewhere standing around other people that's talking trash about you and they don't defend you in their presence because they want to sit there and listen at all the lies and all the deceptions. You know, those types. And I don't know about you all. I don't tolerate people like that in my life. I can't control the type of people that approach me or that come around me, but <laughs> I definitely would never consider somebody like that a friend. Anybody who... Stands around and hangs around people that are talking trash about you. That is not your friend. That's not your friend. That is a two-faced snake trying to play both sides of the fence. And when you are a free thinker, you have the knowledge and the, and the intelligence and the know-how to be able to discern what category in your lives that person should be placed in, whether friend or enemy. Friend or foe. That's what you call a free thinker. That's what you call somebody that don't play no games. But you know, a lot of times when you can think for yourselves, people don't like that. They don't like that. You know, I would advise you all to always be leery of a person that interacts with you like they want to befriend you. But when you turn your head, you see them interacting with your enemy. Let me tell you something. You better watch a snake like that. You better watch a snake like that. Because no man can serve two masters. And I don't know about you all, but no man will serve two masters with me. Anybody. I, you know, I, like I said, I'm, I'm the type of chick. I don't play no games. I don't cut no corners. It's like this. So let me just say the devil, the trouble. And this, this can go out to whoever. Anybody. I don't care. <laughs> For anybody out there that I interact with, if you are interacting with even one of my enemies you are not my friend i don't consider you a friend and you will never be my friend and it is what it is and i don't care if you don't like it because i don't play no games now i just sit that out it can fall wherever it needs to fall because i don't play no games and i don't like people standing up in my face that are walking with my enemies enemies because I don't play that either. I don't deal with my enemies. I don't associate with them. I don't go any further with them than what Father told me to go. And that's prayer. That's it. I say um, I can say a, a mass prayer for the masses and leave it at that. But as far as my enemies are concerned, I don't give two cents about them. I don't. And their lives and nothing that pertains to their lives. Including people that think they're going to interact with my enemies. And then come grin and stand in my face. Oh, it's not going to happen because that's not how this chick right here gets down. I don't get down like that. I know there are people out there that do. But let me tell you something. When you know better, you do better. And you know, I think that even from childhood and teenage life, we have all probably hung with our enemies. I know I have. 
in my life? Yeah, of course. Because when you are a child, you think like a child. But when you become a woman, you definitely better step into the role of a woman and into the shoes of a woman and realize you don't walk with people that's got a knife aimed at your back. You don't walk with people that's got your name in their mouth negatively. You don't walk with people that are friends with people that don't like you. You don't walk with people that are cool with people that hate you and despise you. You don't walk with those types of people because that is a two-faced, double-headed snake trying to play both sides of the fence. And I'm telling you, with a sister like me, this sister right here, it's not going to work. And it is what it is. And folk can take it how it resonates. I mean, I really don't care. I think that m many of you out there you need to go and put your foot down. The reason why a lot of people are dealing with so much strife in their life, it is because it's what you permit. It is what you accept. And it is what you don't reject that is causing all of the misery in your lives. You don't reject the people you should reject. And you don't accept the people you should accept. And that's why your life is in a lot of chaos and in a lot of strife. Because number one, it's full of too many two-faced people. It's full of too many people that want to shut you down. It's full of too many people that want you to shut up. It's full of too many people that don't want you to be a free spirit. Don't want you to be free in your physical, in your spiritual, in your emotional, in your mental. And for a lot of you, the people that don't want you to be free are the ones that you're married to. Or the ones that you're dating. Or the ones that you're in a situation with. Meaning, you're not married, you're not dating, y'all just kind of around each other. Y'all affiliated, but it ain't all that. Don't you know that when the devil sends an agent, he's going to send them wearing the mask of a friend? Whenever somebody approaches you that you really don't know, you know what your initial thought needs to be? Mask. Until they prove themselves to be otherwise. Mask. Who were you just talking to, girl? Mask. Child, who was that? Mask. Because you don't know them. And you don't know who they know. And you don't know if who they know are some of your biggest haters. Some of your biggest enemies. And when they're out of your sight, they're somewhere congregated around that wall of trash. That's talking trash about you and spreading lies. And then they come and stand in your face. I cannot stand people like that. I cannot stand two face people. I am a two-faced person's worst nightmare because I will shut you down. I will shut you all the way down. You will be cut all the way off. See, the thing about people like that, they are double-minded in their heart. You know, there's a Bible scripture that reads, a double-minded man is unstable in all his goings. Now, the scripture reads that way, but of course, double-minded women are unstable in all their goings too, you know. Because there's some two-faced females out there, as we all know. There are some jealous females out there, too. And then, you know, sisters, the thing about it is, it's the point. They can't even hide it. You can see it on their face. Remember that song uh, from back in the day, it's written all over your face? It's written all over their faces. You can see it. I, you know, you can look at some chicks and be like, I can tell you hating on me. I, you can't even look at me in my eye. Because see, my sisters, first of all, for a lot of these whores out here, you know, number one, uh, there's somebody that, like you, that they like. Okay, let's just keep it real. I, I, don't, I don't cut no corners. Or it could be, I don't know. I'll just do that out there. Because see, back in the day, it was like, if a group of whores, you know, bald-headed hoes, <laughs> if they knew that there was a certain dude that liked you, they would come and grin in your face like they were trying to be your friend. And see, maybe that was just to see where you and the dude were standing. What was your standing with the dude? What is his standing with you? They used to do that joint back in the day, that junk, what I should say, back in the day. Some people don't grow out of that, grinning up in your face because they like such and such and they know such and such might like you or might be crushing on you a little bit. So now they want to grin up in your face. Well, let me see what it is, you know, going on with y'all. Or, you know, what, what is it about you that, you know, got this person so, you know, floored or whatever. You know, whatever. <laughs> I'm telling you. You know what, my sisters? <sighs> you got to always be on point. You got to always speak your truth. Everybody's not going to like what you say. Especially 
when you speak the truth. But when you are a truthful person, you can't speak nothing but the facts. And the facts are what they are. The hard, cold facts are what they are. The facts don't change. Only a lot can change. You can switch it up. You can add to it. The center, the third. But the facts are what it is. You understand? You know. And for those of you out there, you know, you're very bold and outspoken because you just like to keep it real. Yeah, of course there are people that want you to shut up. Because for every truth that you tell, you tear down a, a multitude of their lives. For every truth that you speak. Whatever negativity and lies they put out about you. When you come to the world or come to your friend group or whatever, or your clique or whatever, with your truths. You just destroy a whole kingdom of Satan. The entire thing. Because you've shown people that you stand for things that your enemy said you didn't stand for. Or that you don't stand for things that your enemy said you did stand for. If I said that right. You understand what I'm saying? Y'all know what I'm trying to say. It's whatever they say. It will be proven a lot just by how you live your life. Just how, just by how you rock it, how you roll it. You understand what I'm saying? Okay? Your enemies are always going to lie on you. Why? Because it's an enemy. It's an enemy. And they're so dumb. They're so stupid. And you know what gets my goal are the ones that, um, they know they're not in your class. They know they're not in your social status. They trash. They trash sheep. I mean, it's like you can... Feel the filth off of them. And then they have the audacity to try to parade around you as if they are your equal. Please, go, get, oh, go, oh, go sit down. I was going to say, give me a break on that. Good grief. My sisters, you know when something that is beneath you is around you. Because you can, first of all, you can see it, what it looked like. And then you can read the energy of it. You, that's called discerning the spirit. You already know. This is a piece of trash. And it need not parade around me because, you know, you will never be this. I'm sure that my sisters out there, you know what I'm talking about. You know? You know these whores that, um, you know, some of them, they might be sweating somebody that they think is sweating you and this and that and the third, you know. So they'll go and try to interact with the person in your face because they feel like, well, you know, I'll talk to this person if I want to. But see, what a slut like that fair to realize is that if it's not my man, he's up for grabs. If it's not my husband, he's up for grabs. If he does not belong to me, then he is up for grabs to any other female out there that want him. Now, I'm just throwing that out there because I know there are women out there. You take authority over men. You take um, control over men that are not yours. Let it go. And I'm talking to my sisters. Yeah, let it go. Let it go. If that man is not committed to you, he's up for grabs. Period. Whether if it's marriage, situationship, relationship. If he is not committed to you, he is up for grabs. Okay? So if another female comes and interact with him, don't be affected by that. He's up for grabs. But it is not until you maybe walk down the aisle... Or you are proposed to, or you two have entered a, a union, and both of you have agreed that this is a union, you know, then you have a right to say, you know, you know what do you think you're doing? You know, you know this slut don't like me, and I don't like her. What are you doing? You're interacting with a whore you know I don't like. What's your problem? But if you are not in a relationship with that man, he can talk to whoever he wants to talk to. And if even if you are friends with the person or acquainted with the person i look at it like this because friendship can be tricky because you will probably always have friends that are friends with people that you don't like but i feel like it would depend upon the level of friendship is this just like a friend as far as just casual or is this a friend friend if it's a friend friend i will put my foot down and i would say what is it about my enemies that is so appealing to you Okay, I just said it all. I just said a mouthful right there. So for those of you that may be having difficulty with your friends or your so-called friends, be straightforward with them and say, okay, I see you hanging with these people and you know I don't like them. I see you around these people. You know I don't like them. You know we all cannot stand each other. What is it, what is it about them that is so appealing to you, but you're standing in my face? Or that when you all go out together, all of y'all are hanging out together, going out to eat, 
maybe going to catch a movie, maybe going bowling, maybe taking trips together. And every time you turn around, this is this one friend or maybe a couple friends. I don't know. Every time you turn around, they're somewhere interacting with your enemies. Let me tell you something. That's a friend of me. That's, that's a friend of me. That is an enemy. Also, they're trying to play both sides of the fence. That is a double-headed snake. You need to cut them off for good and put your foot down. I don't care what kind of affection you may have for them. You can't love a snake. Anytime you walk with a snake, eventually it's going to bite you. You understand what I'm saying? You can't dress a wolf up in sheep's clothing and expect it to be its attire. It is what it is. It's a wolf. It is a wolf in sheep's clothing. And it runs with the pack. Do you understand what I'm saying? It runs with the pack when you ain't around. You're, can I teach today? Can I teach today? And see, that's the reason why people want people to shut up and they want to monitor people and they want to control what people say. Because you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. And Jesus Christ is the truth. That's why people wanted to shut him up back in the day. The scribes and the Pharisees, they couldn't stand him. They could not stand him. Why? Because he was the truth. Jesus Christ is the truth. I don't care what nobody say. Jesus Christ is the truth. Everything that he has ever said is the truth. Everything he will ever say will be the truth. No man can argue. Now people may not like it and they may not want to accept it, but it is what it is. People need to come to the realization that we've just got some people on earth. They have genuine spirits and they're not going to put up with no mess. They're not going to put up with no lies, no deceptions, nothing deceitful, nothing from the kingdom of Satan, nothing from the kingdom of darkness, nothing from the kingdom of the devil. They're just not going to tolerate it anymore. So my brothers and my sisters, it may go on around you, but it's definitely not going to ever go on in you. Because there are people in this world, they are no nonsense. And it is what it is. And once they say something, it is set in stone. There's no need to come back. There's no need for trying to reconcile. There's no need. People did what they did, and now they have to suffer the consequences. And it is what it is. And it doesn't mean you don't forgive people. Of course you forgive people. But you don't have to forget, and you don't have to accept. And that is what it is. And so, you know, I want to leave you all with the words, you know, always stand in your own truth. And speak your minds about a situation. God did not create you with a muzzle on your mouth. You have a right to say what you want to say and express your feelings, even if it was to the whole world or even if it was just to your spouse, even if it was just to your girlfriend or your boyfriend, your significant others, your family members, whoever, strangers. Perfect. You can talk to perfect strangers and engage in conversation and uh, tell them how you feel about certain things. It's fine to talk. It's fine to express yourself. But for people that don't like what you say, the only thing I can tell you all to tell them, I'm not telling you what to say, but I'm telling you how I would tell the people that don't like what I got to say. <laughs> Get out of my mouth. And with that said, God bless you all until next time. Bye-bye.